Okay, now we have a map of the Northlands here. It's a map of the Northlands. So I think we can use that to find out where Roper Clax is. Although maybe we need to check with the map merchant first. Not sure about that. See if we have a new place on the map or not. Ah, here we go. Yeah. So because we have a map of the Northlands, we can move out of the city and head north. Hmm. Interesting cattle. Some kind of cattle, but not the kind of cattle they breed in Kansas. Hmm. It's a farmhouse. And a barn. It's a small barn. And a storehouse. It's a storehouse on pillars. And large stone monuments. Those monuments? They're enormous. Like man-made mountains. I wonder what they are. What they were made for. Well, off into the forest. Crow's back. Hmm. Now I have a full map of the Northlands at our disposal here. I wonder if this is what all tongue written down actually looks like. Eh, something to think about. But onto the forest. Cartwheel. It's a discarded wagon wheel. That's about it, so let's go. <sighs> Do you always travel like you got a two-headed Vesperian nymphate on your tail? I couldn't keep up half the time. Crow, is that you? Of course, there was that pair of stunning robin redbreasts. Twins, did you know? Not as if I could just leave them without a kiss or two. Or twelve, as it turned out. <sighs> Maybe I'm just out of shape after being stuck in boxes and cages and knapsacks for the past twenty years. I guess it is you. Of course it's me! How many birds do you know with both good looks and a sense of humor? You got a sense of humor? <laughs> oh, funny. Nah, that's funny. What are you doing here, Crow? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? How about a nice to see you, Crow? Or I missed you so much, Crow? Or at least a glad to see you out of that chest, Crow? It is nice to see you, Crow. How did you escape? Cunning, milady. Of course, that keg of Andrigan stone liquor the old geezer got his hands on didn't hurt. I've never seen such a shameful display of public drunkenness in my life. Well, not since the last time I had a thimble full of wine. Phew, boy, were those ladies in for a surprise. When they were told I could talk, I'm sure they didn't count on my encyclopedic knowledge of Dolmari obscenities. The old man was gonna gamble me away again, you know. Went straight back to the cup's handler after the, um, uh, celebration. So... I decided to split before they put me back in a cage. That place was like a prison without the amenities. And let's not even mention the food. Did you ever try roasted El Guan Dung? Ugh, pooey, duh, don't, ever. 
So, I pecked a button here and some soft tissue there and fled. I had nowhere else to fly, so I decided to join you on your, uh, quest. It sounded like a spot of good old-fashioned fun. Like a bird's own adventure. It's not as if I came after you because I like you, though. You don't have any feathers. Thank God for that. Okay, if you want to join me, I wouldn't mind some company. I'm guessing you'll be using your wings, though, and not your feet? The ground's no place for a free spirit like myself, baby. Besides, I hear there are a lot of good-looking birds in this forest. And let me tell you, they don't parade about on the ground like winged chickens. Just try to slow down once in a while. Let me catch up. Sure. But how do I get your attention if I need to talk to you? Can you whistle? Like this? <laughs> Sorry. But wait a second. I got a little flute. I could use it to call you. I'm not a sheepdog. Let's get that straight. You play your tune, and I'll consider your request. <laughs> I won't be flapping to attention like a tame soldier hawk. Deal. We better get moving, though. It's getting late. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll try to keep an eye out ahead in case there's... trouble. And so we gain Crow, April's trusty sidekick. human don't kill me and skin me I haven't even sung to the soil yet don't worry I'm not going to kill you or skin you oh my that is good news very good indeed who are you my name's April what's yours in my language it's Bandu Umana Banta Au Rubana Bitana Benort it means the little one who tries hard to live up to his father who sings to the soil that's a mouthful. So, um, what do I call you? You can call me Ben Bandu, the sad little one. Banda is the name of my people. We are the little ones. Why are you sad, Ben Bandu? I'm looking for my brother. He's been gone in the forest for many days, and I've not heard him sing to us. Our people don't walk about the forest much. It's too dangerous for us. You haven't seen my brother, have you? He's short, about my height, with a tan coat and a mischievous glint in his eye. You're the first mole. The first Banda I've met. Oh, dear. I hope he's all right. A lot of our people have disappeared this summer. So we meet the first of the Bandu, who are the singers to the soil. And we'll continue the conversation in the next video.